Good morning. I'm going on a walk. A bit of a well-being walk for me and sometimes a well-being walk could look like it is today which is a really good long walk well it'll make my legs ache and I get to go for a long distance it's going to be about 11 and a half kilometers about seven miles I'm using my other camera by the way as a microphone just in case you're wondering what this is uh, sometimes it's a short walk just to listen to my audio book sometimes it's just a walk around the the grounds at work for 10 minutes or sometimes it's an early evening walk in the winter when everything's dark and I can peer inside people's windows with their lights off, lights on, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so different walks, long, short, dark, light, cold, warm. But today it's a sunny and fresh walk uh, from where I live to where the girls go to drama school. And I'm doing it a bit earlier in the day than I normally would. I'm going to walk there and meet Dan at two o'clock. It's about half eleven now. I'm giving myself plenty of time because I know I'll be stopping to film stuff. <laughs> Just under three kilometres in, I'm on a really busy road, so hopefully you can hear me okay. It's really warm. My watch says it's about 15 degrees Celsius, so I'm wearing a long sleeved, very light long sleeved top, but it is warm. I'm feeling quite hot and sweaty. Should have worn a t shirt. It's hard at this time of year. Anyway, it's a bit too busy to talk to you. Update on the temperature, about four kilometres in and I'm now chilly. I've been in the shade a lot and the wind has picked up. So I think I am dressed appropriately. I think I've been listening to too much Thursday Murder Club by telling you details about the weather. Kilometers in gets harder to talk because well it gets much noisier and busier and more open along this road see how busy it is and I'm getting tired I've got about half an hour to go I reckon so I'm beginning to plan in my head what I want for my lunch <laughs> Right. I'm in the car 
Phoebe was here a minute ago, but she was a bit of a jumping bean, so I waited until she'd got into drama school. How are you feeling today, Dan? I'm feeling much, much better, actually. Yeah. Um, almost normal. Good. And I've had a lovely walk. It was about 11.5 kilometres, which I think is just over seven miles. 7.2, actually. Yeah. Oh. I had to look that up. Did you just work that out? No, because every time it's 11.5 kilometres, it's always 7.2 <laughs> miles, because every week you look it up. I know, every week I forget. And I burnt over 500 active calories, mm. and it's a lovely day today. It's fresh, it's cool, it's bright and sunshiny and autumnal. It's really lovely. Why are we going left here? So I'm pointing the right way when we pick Lilia up. Don't question the driver. <laughs> and now we're just going to go and pick Lilia up because she went, so she goes to drama school in the mornings at the same place and she has gone with her drama school friends to a coffee shop for, uh, not coffee, but a, a drink and some, a muffin probably or some lunch. Cheese toasty. Now, Cheese toasty, yeah. So we're off to pick her up now and then I'm going to go home and have my lunch, a bit of a late lunch. I'm going to have a quiet afternoon. Although I do need to get a pump. Pump? For the footballs in the car. Uh. But I might order one for Mark. Oh yeah, so Dan's decided that he's up for going to football to, tomorrow. So Phoebe's got a football match tomorrow. Dan helps manage the, the football team that she uh, plays for. So he's decided he is up to doing that, which means my original plans for tomorrow are still in place which we didn't think they would be and my plans for tomorrow are quite exciting i am going to alexander palace affectionately known as ali pally with my friend my one of my oldest friends becky and we are going to the knitting and stitching show okay very exciting Lucky old you. My walk and I've had a lovely lunch and oh it's very sunny in here and um, if you can hear a little sort of background whirring noise it's the uh, dehumidifier doing its thing in the background yeah I'm gonna have a bath which I wouldn't normally do after a long walk because I th I'm sure I read somewhere that it's not the best of ideas to soak in a in a warm bath after exercising but it's the only time I'm gonna have um, over the weekend to do it so I'm gonna do it this afternoon um, because everybody else is otherwise happily doing things. So Dan and Lilia are going to watch a Marvel film together. Phoebe's at drama school, so I have an hour to get in the bath and uh, wash my hair and everything ahead of tomorrow. And the knitting and stitching show, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I'm going with my friend that I've, um, I've known since university and we've never been to a kind of crafty thing together. So that's going to be really good fun. She's um, a sewer. In fact, she runs a business making uh, children's clothes, but um, she's recently got into crochet as well. So it's going to be really good fun. I'm so glad that I still get to go because I, I had thought we were going to have to cancel it um, with how Dan was feeling. But he is honestly feeling so, so much better. I keep having to remind him not to overdo it because he's, he's kind of wanting to zip about here, there and everywhere. And I get like that um, in the past when I've been on steroids as well. It makes you feel superhuman, but um, you've got to remember to stop. Anyway, I am going to go and get in the bath. So, I have some options while I'm in the bath. I can read my Agatha Christie, which I'm still reading very slowly. I can stare at my phone, look at comments, go on Pinterest. I can do a bit of editing, which I really do need to do because I'm going to be out all day tomorrow. Or watch some other Bogtobers, which I really need to do as well. Or 
I should say really want to do. Or this arrived and it is the latest inside crochet. No, it's not. It's the latest Simply Crochet is what I mean. And this was a birthday present for my mum. She got me a subscription um, to Simply Crochet. <gasps> Ooh, Christmas. It's never too early. Crafting labels. Leather look. Crafting labels. Ooh. Not sure if I'll actually use those, but mm. there they are. And then this is the little extra, um, sort of dedicated extra bit that you get. So this time it's family Christmas make. So it's got some nice crochet Christmassy jumpers there. Shall we enjoy looking at? And what we got here? An advert for puzzles. Huh, might have a look at that. And then the magazine itself. And sometimes I look at the cover and think, ooh, and sometimes I look at the cover and go, hmm. I think this is a hmm. <laughs> Loving the yellow. Not so sure. I like the shape of this cardigan. Not so sure about the motifs and the and the colours. Ooh. See, this is all getting a bit 80s, isn't it? I remember doing this. I had like jeans with patches sewn on when I was Phoebe's age. Oh, that's cute. Anyway, I'm gonna have a, probably have a little browse through this whilst I'm in the bath. State of my hair, post bath fluffy hair. We're watching yesterday's vlog, you should too. <laughs> oh no, look at that. I just turned it round and you've just got a pile of ironing behind you. <laughs> and I'm wearing the same outfit as last night. That's because it's your pyjamas. It is. Anyway, Saturday night and that can only mean one thing. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh what? my goodness. What, what, what? Oh my goodness. Turn around. Whoa, whoa, look at how curly her hair That's is. That's my natural it's hair. Beautiful. Um, like you. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't stay like this. It just goes completely frizzy. Why does your hair look like that on camera? It looks so nice. It goes redder on camera, doesn't it? My it looks so nice. My hair is naturally Phoebe's colour, um, but I've always dyed it darker because my eyebrows are naturally darker than my hair colour. Look. And I've always thought it looked a bit weird. This is natural. I have just natural blonde hair at the front. Yeah. So I tried to dye it your back to my colour a bit more, but, and it is, it's not really this red. No. I think it's just the light. It's more like that. You have beautiful hair. People pay good money for highlights like those. What does Saturday night mean? Strictly and socks and spinning fluff. Yes, you've been spinning, haven't you? Yeah. I'm so tired. Um, I did dance okay. today. We were like, Oh, that's a great team. Oh, <laughs>